Hi, I'm Luca Bartolomei from Vision for Robotics Lab at ETH Zurich. In this presentation, we are going to talk about our work, TPRM, Temporal Probabilistic Roadmap for Path Planning in Dynamic Environments. In recent years, autonomous robots have been deployed more and more in the real world. For example, for pick and place in warehouses, where the robot has to navigate from A to B in most static environments, for paddling and surveying in construction sites, or food delivery. However, the higher the level of dynamism of the scene, the harder the navigation problem becomes. As we see in the video, avoiding pedestrians, cars, and potentially other robots is a very challenging task. This raises some safety concerns, as collision avoidance and fast trajectory replanning become crucial components for truly autonomous robots. In the literature, the most common approach to tackle the problem of navigation in dynamic environments is to use time-aware trajectory generation algorithms that take into account the path of the obstacles. This is the approach following the seminal work by Philips and Likachev, where the robot has to navigate towards a goal position, avoiding collision with a pedestrian. However, time-aware algorithms generally imply harder problems to solve, leading to slow path planning solutions. In this work, we propose a path planner that is still time-aware, but that can generate new safe paths at high frequencies in dynamic environments. The proposed algorithm is dubbed Temporal Probabilistic Roadmap, or TPRM in short. It builds on top of the well-known PRM algorithm by Kavraki et al. The original PRM algorithm is composed of two phases. Given a start position, a destination, and a map of static obstacles, in the build phase, samples are generated in the free space and then connected by a local planner. This generates an underlying graph that is called roadmap. Then, in the query phase, the path from start to goal is found in this roadmap. However, this algorithm only works in static scenes, and it is not able to consider moving obstacles. If we add a moving sphere to the scene, PRM will lead to collision. This is the starting point of the proposed TPRM algorithm, which is specifically designed for dynamic scenes in the case of non-obstacle trajectories and autonomic robots. Similarly to PRM, we first have a build phase. Here, we not only consider the position of the nodes, but also their time availability. Time availability is a set of time intervals when the node is not blocked by a moving obstacle. In this example, if you consider the moving sphere, we see that it blocks some of the nodes of the roadmap at different times, shown in red. If we then take the highlighted node, we see that it is available from time 0 to 2 seconds and from time 4 seconds onwards. This means that if the robot is in that position at time 3 seconds, it will be in collision route. From this information in the query phase, we use a time-aware version of the A-star algorithm to find the shortest collision-free path from start to goal. If the robot then follows this path, it is ensured that it will not collide against static and moving obstacles. As TPRM builds on top of PRM, it is a probabilistically complete algorithm that can solve for multiple queries. Moreover, it allows for faster planning. In fact, if a new obstacle appears, we can keep the underlying map untouched, and we just need to recompute the time availability of the nodes affected by the motion of the new obstacle. We now show the performance of TPRM, first in static scenes and then in dynamic environments. Here the robot is tasked to navigate from the lower left to the top right corner of the workspace shown on the right. We compare against PRM and RRT star as implemented in the Open Motion Planning Library and our implementation of RRT star FND. As we can see in the table, TPRM reaches the lowest path length, but its computation time is worse than UMPR planners as their code was specifically optimized to handle the use case of planning in static scenes. We obtain similar results in dynamic scenes, where TPRM reaches the high success rate. In the computation time for the MPI planners and other TSTAR FND, we consider the total time for every planning iteration, as this planner needs to recompute their trajectory every time they find a collision with an obstacle. We then tested TPRM models in the real world. In this first experiment, we show how TPRM can fly a UAV towards a given destination, avoiding collision with a static obstacle. Planning is completely done on board the drone PC in less than 50 milliseconds 
meaning that we can reach the planning rate of 20 Hz on an embedded platform. In a second real-world experiment, we add a virtual moving obstacle. In this case, the velocity of the virtual obstacle is constant and known. The robot is tasked to navigate from one corner of the room to the opposite one. The planning here is triggered manually, and we can see that the robot is performing a dodging maneuver that avoids collision with the moving sphere. Then, once the sphere is dodged, the robot keeps flying towards its destination. In the last experiment, we add a second drone as moving obstacle. In this case, the velocity of the second drone is known, but it is not kept constant by the pilot. TPRM keeps replanning the path from line and avoids collision with the obstacle and flies the UAV to its destination. Notice that here the estimation of the second drone velocity was done by means of a Vicon system. To summarize, in this work we propose a time aware path planner for dynamic scenes that is probabilistically complete and that can perform ray planning online. In our extensive evaluation, we show that TPRM generates shorter and smoother path than the state of the art, and that the proposed algorithm can be used to perform real time path planning on an embedded platform. Finally, we release our code to benefit the community. As future work, we plan to extend TPRM to handle non holonomic robots, for example using a tree based approach, and to extend the algorithm to consider the uncertainty in the obstacle velocities.